Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTGB foundation level sample paper discussions where we are talking about the tips and tricks related to this particular examination. Well, this is the final tutorial of set C where we are talking about the remaining two questions of chapter 6 and we shall be moving on to the set D in our next tutorial. Uh, pretty much uh, there are simple questions from the test tools, however, we should never be ignoring them thinking that it's a small chapter and hardly two questions from there. You never know how these two questions could play a very vital role in your success rate, in your bad times. So never, never never ever underestimate them. So uh, we are also putting equal effort to complete this particular chapter as well. So we are not ignoring, we don't want you to ignore as well. Let's move on. The very first question from this particular chapter is question number 39, which says uh, tools from which of the following categories help with the organization of test cases, detected defects and configuration management. I think uh, we have discussed this as a part of our tutorials pretty well that uh, uh, test management tool is the only tool which basically comprises of every single thing. However, these days uh, we can even know them as ALM, that is Application Lifecycle Management, which talks about end-to-end -end management, that is release management, configuration management, defect management, build management, etc. But when we talk about only the particular items like uh, test case management, configuration management, and defect management put together, we quite often know them as a test management tool. So uh, that makes it very clear to us that, hey, we can have them independently available uh, for our regular use, but at the same time, we can always have them as a combined tool, which we call it as test management tools. So given that context is clear, let's move on to the options. Option A here says uh, the test execution and coverage tools. Uh, these tools are mainly capable of executing and measuring the coverage. Test design and implementation tools, these help you to build, uh, write the test cases, generate the test cases, help you prepare the data, uh, kind of like sequences, automation, scripting, etc., and automation executions. C, uh, defect management tool, which is very straightforward. It talks about managing the tool, uh, managing the defects within your project, and uh, will be only responsible for uh, doing the defect management. Whereas the last option is test management tool, and uh, uh, that's what we are talking about. So no further discussions required. I think uh, with the explanation provided to you, the right answer for this particular question is D, that is test management tools are the tools which have a combination of multiple features like test case management, defect management, and configuration management inbuilt within a single tool. So this is how sometimes these simple questions could help you boost your scores during the examination. And we would be very, very uh, grateful to these chapters uh, when we succeed with our better scores at the same time succeeding the examination also. Let's quickly move on to the next question. The last, next and final question of this particular uh, set C is 40. Uh, which of the following is most likely to be a benefit of test automation? A quick reminder, as a part of our tutorials, we have already covered uh, that what are the benefits and risk involved. So let's read this uh, quickly and get to the right answer. Option A says the capability of generating test cases without access to the test basis. I think uh, this is not something which we should worry about because we should understand that whether it is human or whether it is a tool or even if it is an AI, it needs what is the basis. That means I need to know what are the requirements. If I don't know the requirement, no one can create test cases. But if you can tell me that, okay, yes, we have experience-based test techniques, what about that? The answer is that, yes, of course, there we do exploratory testing, where we do error, uh, error guessing, we do a checklist-based testing, and they are mostly dependent on our experience of testing similar applications in past or domain knowledge. And as we talk about our experience to be considered as basis, requirements are not required. But there, we don't write test cases. So that completely fits the understanding that yes, the basis plays a vital role in terms of generating the test cases, and I cannot do that, right? So that's not one of the benefit which we can consider. Let's go to option B. Option B says uh, the achievement of the increased coverage through more objective assessment. So these are two different things. Objective assessment is a to the point measure like this test case belongs to this particular requirement, this is the amount of coverage achieved, the percentage can be very crisp and to the point, that's what you call it as objective assessment. 
And increased coverage is more about writing additional test cases or doing more testing. So both the words are not something which are in line with each other. That means it's not something which is talking about a test automation benefit or this is not a tool benefit that increased uh, coverage can be achieved by objective assessment. Measure of the result is something different and increasing the coverage is something different. So both are two different things. Let's move on to option C. Option C here says that the increase in test execution times uh, available with higher processing power. Higher processing power should help you reduce the execution time. And yes, that is one of the benefit of having testing tools or automation testing being conducted within the organization. The only word which makes this entire statement null and void is the word increased. If you pay, uh, see, pay attention here, the very first word that is the increase in the test execution is basically uh, taking it away because it reduces the time of execution with help of having a test tool, right? And that's uh, again, not something what we can talk about. So let's move on to option D. Option D says the prevention of human error through greater consistency and repeatability. Now this is taken directly from the syllabus as it is. So we read this in the syllabus as well. And uh, from the explanation point of view, yes, the tool gives you greater consistency and repeatability. Uh, for example, you can run a test multiple times. You can have uh, same test being executed a number of times with same results. But when you talk about humans being executing the same test again and again, they may have different perception or change of perception. Thus, they may have different results also. So tools do help you attain these kind of uh, consistency uh, as a part of achieving this entire thing. So I think that makes it pretty much clear that what we are talking about and what we are looking forward to. So to the point, the right answer for this particular question is D, that is prevention of human errors through greater consistency and repeatability is one of the benefit of the test automation tools when used in the organization. And with that, we complete the set C and I hope this would have helped you to gain a lot of understanding the tips and tricks related to this examination because in every single set, we are trying to cover different varieties of questions with different explanations and sort of supporting you with as many explanations as possible so that you do not get a chance of failure during the real examination. And trust me, these explanations would be a booster on top of your tutorials. So never ever ignore them, uh, underestimate them, take them for understanding in a way that you are preparing for the examination. All right, so that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning. Thank you.